mystical creature of immense power, a guardian, a destroyer of evil. It is a symbol of strength and of courage. One man has won an oath to become an angel of mercy and a demon of vengeance. Griffin, and this is his story. There's a man marked in a black mask with a toxic gas. The sea was burned and turned into aggro, returned in a flash. Last, the mark of a slash, the outcast won't last. Cast from the cast, iron, iron clad, glass. Pressure, he mass, compressed gas, was shattered the glass. I had a meeting today with a Jamaican executive named Mr. Crane. He recruited me into a secret program created by a group called The Agency. It gives me license to be some kind of field detective or special agent. No way. This is a horrible way to start the story. I should explain how I met them first. Okay. Yesterday, my sensei asked me to meet him down at the dojo and no. You still won't get it if I start there. Explaining this is harder than I thought. Right from the top. My name is Marcus Griffin, and five years ago, I decided to change my life forever. You see, some people are content with just thinking about what's fair and what's not. Who wins, who loses, and some people even let fate decide their outcome. Not me. Not anymore. It was the moment I stopped talking about what should be done and decided to actually do something. Oh yeah, I watched them for a long time and I felt confident I could take them all out in one night. I really believed an angry man with a gun was enough to change the world for the better. How wrong I was.
few hours, I really thought I was going to die. I knew then that I had no idea what I was doing. The dream of changing the world around me died that day. I needed help, I needed training, and I would find out five years later that even that wasn't enough. I'm Marcus Griffin, and this is my journal. put a man down so that he stays down a costly lesson although it was nothing more than an angry man with a gun I still consider that to be my first day as a marked man luckily the slug went right through my side and my family's doctor was able to keep a secret after he saw through my lie about being in a knife fight with a mugger so I took leave, claiming a death in my family, when the person that really died was Marcus Griffin, the would-be vigilante. As I healed up, no resolve left, and I decided to worry about myself and let the world take care of itself. Sitting in my house, looking over the package I received today. I'm excited and scared at the same time. I keep thinking, you called, you went down there, you wanted this. A small note says, press play, and so I do. You've been given several useful items that will help you along. The first is the quarter quarter or Q quarter. It is a modified field device with special features. It has the ability to intercept cellular transmissions in a 1,000 foot radius and record up to four conversations at once. It will allow you to make calls under any ghosted identity and GPS track any captured signal. Front screen can I have no idea where this will lead me, but I do know the time for second guessing has passed. Now, I'm just hoping I'm worthy of the true mark. The mic sensors can be set as remote ears and used to set up a noise sensitive parameter. The second book is a primer on electronics and your guide to assembly and repair. You will also find a chemistry index on how to turn household ingredients into serum, toxins and other chemical weapons. Did he always know? I'm sorry. I know when I jump around in my journal, it can get confusing. So let's go back to another beginning. This is five years ago and 42 days. Enter Sensei Master Ernesto Hawk. In the 90s, he was an action film star with a series of successful movies. He lectured and put out a string of really popular books too. But at the height of his fame, he suddenly retired and opened a school. Among his large following of students, I felt I was one of his best. I had been training with him for five years and he still hadn't offered me a major belt. Sometimes, I even felt like he was holding me back. Little did I know, it was all part of a much larger plan. On March 3rd, the Sensei Master gave me the challenge of defeating another student to stay in his school. There was a short list of disciples around my skill level that would be my match. He throws a curveball by bringing Phoebe in. It's not that she's female, it's the fact that she hasn't been training here as long as I have. Okay, I wonder what she gets if she... Well, I'm not gonna back down. Obviously, I'm meant to get a belt today. 
end up being kicked out of the school part is just an incentive to perform well. She comes out aggressive but is still controlled. She must want to put on a show.
plenty of heart, you lack discipline, and you still don't understand the difference between a performance and an art. Go to those people, you may have the skills they need, and they might awaken you so one day you come back and be too much more. I went home that night and called the number. Biomeditech facility where someone is sabotaging a new wonder drug. So far, 48 people have died horrible deaths. It's a clear case of corporate espionage, but they can't figure out how the swap is being done. I work for a group called The Agency, and my contact is a Jamaican field agent named Gabriel Kane. The first thing he said to me was that I didn't look as impressive as he thought I would. I told him he didn't sound as American as I thought he would. He rattled off a few curses and called me a Yankee boy. I'm sure that's some kind of insult. He details the job of placing noise sensors around the grounds. He seemed to perk up when I mentioned the idea of someone breaking out of the lab and not actually breaking in. The outside looks like a normal laboratory. The sensitive areas are bottled up tight. And now I'm sitting here looking over my guide plan and I'm beginning to question the wisdom in signing on for this. I certainly want to make a difference and I tried to five years ago when I flushed out a drug den. It was a reckless move that nearly cost me my life. Since then, I've trained very hard and was surprised when my martial arts teacher sent me away to work with the agency. It's midnight when the sensor is tripped. He's using a rooftop hatchway and the ladders to get in and out. Very clever, but he must be stopped at all costs.
people have been avenged. One man has changed. I'm Marcus Griffin, and this is my journal. They say we are given many warnings in life. Hints that something's about to go terribly wrong. It's in our nature to delay dealing with unpleasant things. We wait until the problem grows so large it threatens our very existence. And then we say, if only I knew this was coming. I've been given a new case by the agency, and my sponsor, Mr. Crane, wants me to develop my tool set faster. Tonight, I'm working on a combination sedative and truth serum. Apparently, I got the mix wrong because it isn't working. Oh, wait, wait. The job details a missing school teacher named Melissa Karn who disappeared on her way home. A mechanic shop is selling her car after claiming she never paid her repair bill. It's been listed as a dead end. The agency wants me to play the part of a mechanic so I can snoop around the shop. The problem is I don't know enough to bluff my way in. The owner tells me he's got a troublesome car that stalls out and they can't figure out why. If I can fix it, the job is mine. And then I get access to the shop. I have no idea what I'm doing. I call Crane and he just tells me, look busy until there's an opening for me to search around. I'm here to compete with him. How wrong he is. Time to get a look at that computer in the office. The coast seems clear enough. Might be a little harder than I thought. I told him the car is fixed, and he tells me to take it for a test ride. No problem. It stalls two blocks away. I call Crane, and he tells me they won't figure it out till tomorrow. And that gives me one night to solve this case. electronics to get past the alarm system.
Griffin, and this is my story. You hold them. You pull them close. You are their guardians, their protectors. When you fail as a shepherd, there is only vengeance against the wolf. I'm Marcus Griffin, and this is my story. There is a massive manhunt going on. Two little girls have disappeared, and the agency has 72 hours to make headway in this case before the media opens up a firestorm about a serial killer loose in the area. Crane thinks I should visit the site of the last discovery and just feel my way around. The police and forensics have already combed this entire area, so I have no idea what I'm doing here. And that's a familiar feeling. It's like I'm groping in the dark, trying to find, wait a minute, the temperature just dropped way too fast and the wind just kicked up. You've got to be kidding me. This is a scene right out of a movie. The smell arrives. Something like a dead animal, but worse. No 
Normally, I'd be screaming at the screen for the main character to get the hell out of there. But this is reality, and I am free of no. I don't believe in that stuff. No way. Ridiculous. A dog. Is Crane playing a trick on me? Oh, I get it. Yeah, I bag this doll as evidence and bring it in and get made fun of for the next six months. No, thank you. I'm way smarter than that. Coming here was a complete waste of time. Crane denies a doll trick and thinks it's normal that I can't sleep while working a case of this nature. I went over the package they sent me about this, but I'm not sharp enough to really be effective here. A third girl disappears, and the profile information is released. An older white male, husky, probably lives or works in the area. I'm useless, and I haven't slept in days. I need a breakthrough, anything, something to push me along. say there's nothing wrong with being afraid, but do not let the fear rob you of your awareness or will to action. I have to clear my head. Just get going on the road. Going nowhere in particular. The cemetery. A familiar statue. The rail crossing. Stuff from my dreams. And then I see something I should not see. This is impossible. Even if someone set this up, how could they know? I refuse to believe. As I pull off, something makes my head turn.
Griffin. I slept well that night, and the many nights that followed.
see the ending in my mind's eye. And choose to change the way this story ends. Thank you.